Welcome back to the desk here at the 2017 Hearthstone Winter Championships. A great pleasure to have your company today, my friends. My name's Riley Knight. I'm joined, of course, by Tor Alps there, and so good to have your company as well, mate. As we get into the semi-final game number five, we've seen Puffin and Exa go head-to-head, -head, but uh, this is the decider. What are we going to see from these two players down in the feature match area? Yeah, we have Exa with a nice, strong Dragon Priest list. Of course, using small minions that get better with dragons combined with dragons to pressure the opponent early and strong. And we have Puffin using the Jade mechanic and the Jade Druid. And this really goes into a long-term strategy where playing Jade cards make them better and better every game. We'll see uh, how things go for these two players. Of course, you'd have to say tore off all of the momentum at the moment with Puffin. This guy's been on an absolute tear recently. Winner, winner, chicken dinner of course, most recently taking out the uh, the Innkeeper's Championship. But uh, the same can't be said about his opponent. Uh, fortunes haven't favoured him so far. Yeah, no, Ixa had some nice results earlier, but in the last couple of months and weeks, it kind of got dry. So I really can hope he can make a mark on this tournament and go into the finals and win this game. We'll see how things go between these two players. But before, of course, uh, we get them going head to head, uh, Torof, your final thoughts on the matchup? Oh, the matchup is very dynamic. It kind of depends on how long the game goes. If the Dragon Priest can come out early and strong, then the Druid is hard to descend. But if the Druid can defend, the Jade Cards will take over and we will see who is coming out in the end victorious. It'll be very interesting to see how things shake out. It's time now to get underway with game number five, the decider of the semi-finals here at the 2017 Hearthstone Winter Championships. Hello my friends and welcome to the 2017 Winter Championships. My name's Riley, I'm joined by Toralf Severin, my good friend and colleague. On your screen, the semi-finals game number five. Puffin on Jade Druid, Ixar on Dragon Priest. How are these opening turns going to look here, Toralf? Now they look good for the Dragon Priest. We have Twilight Well on turn one and Fairy Dragon on turn two, and that's exactly what you need. You need a fast start to pressure the Druid. Nice little curve here for the Priest player, but Puffin has plans of his own here. Look at this, an Innovate coming down. It's going to be joined by the Coin, and on turn number one, Toralf, an explosive start here for Puffin. Behold the rage of the Firelands, Fandrel Staghelm coming down on turn number one. Yeah, that's very fast and very threatening. And we see there's no Shadow Word Pain in the hand of Ixa, which is the only card to deal with it. And yeah, it just keeps around and will make the cards even better. So Puffin now with uh, a little bit of an impetus to find a solution to this Fairy Dragon. That, of course, threatens to contest the uh, the Stag Helm here. So Puffin does need to find an answer. With an Innovate in hand, he will be able to power out a 1, 2, or 3-mana answer. And there's your 3-mana answer. It's Hired Gun. Yeah, Hired Gun is perfect. You can play it thanks to the Innovate just drawn this turn. It protects the Fendril. And, well, you can even take another spell. Well, Look at how this. about this indeed? Maybe a better option here is the Claw coming off the second half of that idol there. A nice pick up for Puffin, and he's going to pick it. That is a very, very tidy answer to his uh, dragon problem here. That's just insane. So nicely fit into the curve. You see the Innovate already making so much advantage because of oh, the Oh, and look at this. Ixar now having a th thing or two to say about the position he's in, and, and uh, Puffin offers his compliments of the season to his opponent Ixar. Nether Spite Historian on turn number three. Oh, that's an awkward play. Yeah, that's usually what you want, and in a normal game that would be what you want to face on turn five, but Fenro on turn one, certainly not a normal game. No, certainly not, with the J Druid player really hitting his straps, coming out of the gates like an absolute greyhound here as we see Staghelm clear the Historian and uh, Puffin continue this utter dominance. Yeah, that's really a poor turn for a play. You really would like something that survives the board and there's just nothing to contest your Fenrir with. No, a, a very, very insubstantial turn four here for Ixar with healing and the uh, the three two coming down. Hero power on turn four, especially as a priest player. Jeez, it doesn't impress anyone, does it? Yeah, no. Next turn, you really don't want to play the Dragon Lord operative because the only thing that kind of lets you survive is the Pine Size Potion in combination with the Shadow Ward Horror. But then again, we see now Azure Drake putting spell damage and making the removal even more efficient. And look at that, actually, uh, the, the Drake uh, powering up three quarters of Puffin's hand there with uh, a range of removal option, uh, options for him. And Draken it operative the play here for Ixar. He's got to roll the dice and hope he snags something good. And uh, I mean, some good options here. Yeah, you want to find a Twisting Nether or Doom or something, but... Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess Feral Rage does a little bit of life gain, so maybe that helps, but uh, it just doesn't survive. You know, the creatures stay on the battlefield and they do a lot of damage each turn. So Puffin now playing a Wrath, of course, going to get both halves of this card. And, uh, a nice little removal spell here, oh, only knocking the operative down to one health to find some other way to finish it off. Of course, even after the Raven Idol, still the hero power available to take care of the 5-1. Yeah, and you don't really care about the 5 damage to the face because, well, you're on the aggressive side, so that means your creatures survive, and it doesn't really matter how much damage you take. And look at the damage your opponent is taking. Jeez, yeah, absolutely. Knife Juggler being picked up in addition to that Mark of Nature, and that's a huge stack of damage. 7 on the board, plus about 100 million in hand. And Ixar only on 22 here. He's going to have to find an answer very quickly. Yeah. We, we see uh, Puffin clear out the uh, the operative and then uh, looks like he's going to go upstairs. We all know, Toralf, that the face is the place. Up to Ixar here now to find some sort of roadblock. And we actually can see that's about enough. We have seven next turn plus another seven in the hand from Living Roots and Mark of Nature. Oh, and, and condemning himself here, the final nail in the coffin. It's Sylvanas Windrunner. She doesn't have time for games. Puffin doesn't have time for games as well. He can close this out here and now. Yeah, and he sees it. He plays Mark of Nature, which nicely gives plus four, plus four, but only if plus four attack is needed. And this is 15 damage, Exaxis. Oh, there we go. Look at that with the Living Roots dealing three upstairs plus what looks like the hero power yeah. That is going to do it. Ending the game in style, Torah. Yeah, Ixa sees it coming, and this is actually... Well, if you want to choose any game 5 of the semifinals, how to play out, turn 1 Fendral, just killing your opponent to 6, neat. Puffin advances to the finals here. Great stuff from him. As we welcome you back to the desk, ladies and gentlemen, after that electrifying match, our congratulations to Puff and Torov. Wow, what a game. Yeah, as I said, if the Dragon Priest comes out strong, it's going to be a nice matchup, but who knew that the Druid player will take over the game so fast? Completely flipping the script there. Our congratulations once again to Puffin, who will find himself in the finals, which is coming your way, my friends, before you know it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the finals of the 2017 Hearthstone Winter Championships before you know it.